ever heard the name Colchester? Yes. Do you know where the place is called Colchester? Somewhere between East London and PE. Yes. So we are on our way to go and visit the town of Colchester. Okay. We've driven past it so many times. We have. But never gone in to see what it looks like. And I say between East London and PE, but much closer to PE. It's like right very close to PE. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's about a 60 kilometer drive from Kirkwood to get to Colchester. And we're heading down to the sea. Nice one. We're following the train line here. Yeah? And here we come across this junction, station. Siding. Hermitage. Siding. It's most probably a siding. Hermitage. Hey. Look at all the tracks at the back there. Lots, eh? Hermitage. I'm going to call it a station. Do it. <laughs> How is cool is this? Yeah. So close to the road. Can you imagine a train? Travelling right next to the road. That must Going have been by, awesome. Like, right? Wow. That must have been awesome. Look at this. Quite a big siding this, eh? But one thing that is pleasantly surprising yeah. is that the buildings are in I want to call it great shape stuff. If we've compared to what we've seen at station, even then the windows are intact, some of them, which is surprising. It was a bit of a wild angle that day. <laughs> Look at Hermitage Station. So unexpected. Yeah. Happy to see it. Yeah, but you can see they're old. Yeah, definitely. So this must be all to do with oranges and everything. Yes, here too. Look, yeah. this is even older. Yeah. Are these parking sheds, loading bays? Yes. So were they loading places, those? Definitely. must probably loaded the oranges onto the train. Onto the train. Yeah. Crazy. Interesting. Look at this tree. Yeah, massive. got to do with citrus. Just other side of Edo we got the turn off to Colchester so it was so quick I didn't get time to film it but we're on a gravel road to Colchester. Yeah a wide gravel road hey? Yeah it looks like it's busy you can see how shiny it looks like tar already so hard it is. Nyalas. So many young ones. I'm sure I saw an impala as well. At the back. Yes. Definitely an impala. Oh, there he is. And there's one further back grazing. How cool are these nyala? Perfect. I wonder where their male is. How cool is this? Very cool. Nyala. Love seeing them and so many young ones. Yes. The Impala were a bit far away. Yeah. I'll never say no to wildlife. No, I love them. Quite a cool entrance. Yeah, at a park vista.
this road. Yeah. Beautiful weather too, right? Yes. Sie warm that style not, nicely. But not hot. No. Which it's just pleasant. Yeah, it is. I love that. We are driving on a gravel road next to the Sundays River. What could be better than that? Yay. So nice here. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Some crazy thorn bushes here. Eh? <laughs> yes. Look at that. these thorns. Are like five centimeters long. So this bridge crossed the Sundays River. All the railings are gone. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder when it collapsed. Yeah, it's well, probably the, over time. The the f flat surface that one drives on seems to be okay, but the steel structure itself seems very unstable. So I'm, I think they just said it's collapsed to stop keep people, people away. Yeah. Well, the barriers they've put up there now will also do the job. Definitely. I can see a giraffe. Wow, but he's miles away. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Can I can see, see him, him and he's in the Addo Elephant National Park. They are crazy. <gasps> We're going to have to make a plan to get to the parks again. Fair. Look at him I'm now. sure you'll get him. I don't know, I can try. I need proof. There it is. You make a, a red circle. Yeah, you should be able to see him, but I'll make a red circle around him. <laughs> that was cool to see the giraffe, but he's very far away. I still saw him. Yes, you did. That's so did all I. that counts. <laughs> Usually where there's one, there's more. Yeah, there are normally more. Approaching the N2 here at Colchester. Now to get across is the mission. I've done the one side. I've done the other side. <laughs> Apparently there's two places, Colchester and Cannonville, but I, they're, so, they're virtually just one place. I think they're so close yeah. together, or right next to each yeah. other. So let's go and have a look at Cannonville. And look at these dunes. 
Yeah, they call them the coastal dune fields, eh? Wow. I hope we see where the Sundays River flows into the Indian Ocean, mind you. Yes, it's the Indian Ocean. <laughs> We're used to saying the Atlantic. Apparently it goes through the, the dune fields okay. to the ocean. Always just zoomed past. It's one of them zoom towns. Zoom towns. Yeah. Zoom coastal towns. Dung Beetle B and B. It is cool, eh? They were so protective of their dung beetles, you remember? Yes. In the park. Oh, what is that? It's a mongoose. Okay, so this is cannonball. Yes. Right next to the dunes, these people. It's wild, eh? Dunes are high, too. Oh, they can't see the sea. No. That's Reformed Sunday's River Mouth Church. Where's the cornerstone say? 2003. Yes. Okay. 13 April. Take a right here by the N2. I get the distinct impression that they are holiday only. And you? Oh, definitely. People that have bought here and they come from up country and they just come to chill. So I would imagine a mix again of permanent and holiday. Yeah. Sand Dunes Hall. <laughs> cool name. That's bigger than I thought. Yeah, much bigger. It's another mongoose. Yes. Chill. Another one. in a bit of a hurry. Yeah. And here we go through under the into. Yes. That's interesting. Sunday's River. Yeah. 
here come through under the end to the Sunday's River and I think it no, flows it's down and then the mouth is there on the other side by Colchester. That's that fun Starden's River to Sunday's River. Alright, is that boat coming up I think? Yes. You just launched Oh, we boat. just launched, okay. Wow. Cool. Can we go drive there by the... Oh, we can't, one can't drive. No. Are those little fishing huts and stuff? Yes. We must probably camping where they camp. Day camping, you think? Or uh, overnight camping? I think it could be overnight camping as well. There is an ablution block. Yes. Then we go take a drive there. Oh, there are vehicles. We yes. must be able to get here, or down here. I'd like to know what these little reed houses look like inside. This is what they look like inside. Oh, so it's basically for shade and yes. shelter. Okay. Interesting. People can bry. It's beautiful, yeah. I don't get the overnight camping vibe no, I though. Don't. It looks like day visitors and stuff. It like does, that. eh? No. Beautiful location. So the river and then the dunes and then probably the, the ocean. The ocean on the other side, yeah. This is cool, eh? Very nice, yeah. Please go drive under the N2. <laughs> okay, is that all you want to do? Okay. Uh, no, I want to get to the ocean, but I want to do that too. Okay, let's go and do that. Lots of water. No danger for us, right? I hope not. No man, dirty stop. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Darcy family ahead, slow down. There's a sign that says. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Darcy family. Good heavens, no. I love Gannonville, eh? They even got signs up warning you against the Darcy's, eh? Uh, it doesn't get more wonderful than that. So cool. Bye, Dussies. No worries. They like slim and trim Dussies, yeah. these, eh? This one looks like a senior one. <laughs> <laughs> senior citizen. Okay, we must go back. Alright. The Sunday's River Angling Club. Well, they should have an angling club here yeah, for this river. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that's a big pastime here. I'm telling you it's a big pastime. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's Mackay Bridge Angling, angling club. club. Okay. Okay. So these guys are going to stand on the bridge and fish over there and the rest go in the Sunday's river. <laughs>
very interesting plant life here. Yeah. And this is a park, and you go to the river. Wow, look at those dunes, man. Yeah. So this also falls under Nelson Mandela Bay municipality, I see. Okay, yeah, because it's not too far from the... No. It's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, well, as cool as it can be cutting yes, down a tree, right? Exactly. And then... They made the best of a bad situation. They did. Is this the dung beetle guest to us? Check the dung beetles, eh? It must be. Yeah. Is it the dung beetle river lodge? It's well done, eh? Yeah. Again, it always surprises me just off there into just off a highway, a yep. major highway. So, this is Colchester now. It's a mongoose. They're chill here. Yeah. Very chill. People live with nature here, eh? That's fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Is it interesting? This is cool. <laughs> yes. Kitty cat. Oh, that's some be naughty. <laughs> so for me, the, the two just flow into each other. Yeah, right? there's a little gap, but that's it. Yeah. So chaotic there at the petrol stop always. <laughs> And look at this. It's so calm. Check these trees. Yeah, look, they blow my mind. such a wide variety of yeah. trees and plants here. So I suppose we are driving parallel to the river now. All along the river, yes. And the dunes. The dunes. Now and then there's a gap between the houses to get to the river. Yes, I see that. For pedestrians. Yeah. I like that. to the river mouth. Uh, it 
doesn't look it looks like totally that. private, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't look like there even is someone there. Yeah. Them if I can get to the river mouth? Yes. Okay, so firstly, the entry fee for a couple like us is 100 bucks, which is not the issue. No, the, that's nothing. Yeah, the issue is for us to go in here, you know, it's all their property for about four kilometers. Okay. And then it's Sand Park's property after that. But it's a sandy route. I can we can go with our car up to a certain point and then we're gonna have to park. And then the way I understand it, it's a long distance to draw, to walk to get to the river mouth. And that's crossing Sand Parks' property as well. And it's going to take us about three hours to do that. What? And they close, they lock these booms at seven tonight. So we're not going to make it. <laughs> no, but I mean, like how long is it? A kilometer to walk? It's about a kilometer to walk and then a kilometer back. And then um, we have to drive out here again. So... It's, we, we don't okay. can't do it unfortunately all right it would have been cool to see but I mean that's yeah. like, at least there is a way for someone maybe who arrives earlier and who are if fitter we, than uh, I earlier we might have been able to do it but you won't be able to walk it that far yeah. definitely but you you said just look at the trunk yeah. for a second you said um, there's a way for 4x4 four four vehicles. 4x4 four four vehicles, but they only can drive also up to a certain point. Oh, they also have their, to walk? Park their vehicles and then walk because of the oh. sand parks property. You, can, you can't drive with your vehicle in the sand parks property. Oh, so whether you come with 2x4, four, 4x4, four four, you have to walk? Yes, we just have to, with our vehicle, walk further than the 4x4s. Four Sorry. I would have liked to see it, but no, it's fine. I would have liked to have seen the river mouth. Yes. I always enjoy a river mouth. Yeah. Look at this place. It's always like this. This place is wildly busy. Look at all the trucks. It's like hectic. It is crazy busy. Perfect. One gets the feeling of open space here, hey? Yes, and it's so green all the time. But yet they in a major drought. Nelson Mandela Bay is going through a rough time with the drought, eh? And, um, well, they had a bit of rain recently, which yes. I think made a little bit of a difference to the dams. Some dams overflowed even. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily break a drought. No. Oh, the log house. Yeah. So I would imagine most of these people live work in um, PE. I would say. Wouldn't you? And yeah. in the park maybe. I see lots of guest houses here. And that I would say is for people who go into the park but stay outside of the park. Tourism is a big income provider here. Yeah, definitely with the Edo Elephant Park. Yes. Yeah. See, there's another guest house. Yeah. Quite a few around. Okay, so now I'll never wonder again what it looks like in Colchester. Not that I knew about Cannonville. Yeah, I just know. I only saw the sign Cannonville now. So, yeah, Colchester and Cannonville. Very interesting stop. Would have loved to have been able to get to the river mouth, but. What we did see of the river is beautiful, yeah, though. No, it's a beautiful place. 